They're used in just about every cuisine imaginable, from a Mexican fiesta to an Asian stir-fry to the all-American barbecue. They bring smiles to everyone who eats them and tears to everyone who prepares them. They're onions. And here in the Salinas Valley are where many of them are getting their start. Think growing onions is easy? Well, think again. Get ready to peel back the many, many layers in the life of an onion. Over 135 countries grow onions, and here in the United States, onion consumption has risen more than 50% in the last 15 years. Whether you like your onions fresh, frozen, canned, pickled, or in dehydrated forms, this is where the first layer in the life of an onion starts, at the Gills Onion Farm in the fertile fields of Salinas. We grow roughly 1,500 acres of onions in the Salinas Valley for a storage program for Gills Onions. Uh, and we currently are running anywhere from two and a half to three million pounds a day through our shed. But the rounder the onion is, and the firmer it is, the better quality product you're gonna get. You can be assured of, of a good onion if, if, you, if you look for those things. Color of skin, the, uh, the amount of skin, the roundness, the firmness, the height of the onion, that's what you're looking for. From the fields, they are harvested, grated, and sorted. Some are put into cold storage, and some continue their life cycle to their processing facility more than 250 miles away in sunny Southern California. Welcome to Ventura County and to the Gills Onions headquarters, the largest year-round grower and processor of fresh-cut onions. Our motto here at Gills Onions is if you're still cutting your own onions, it's a crying shame. Well, Gills Onions started in about 1983, I think it was. Uh, it's almost 25 years ago and uh, started peeling onions for uh, our first customer, La Victoria. And we started with uh, growing peppers for La Victoria and they wanted uh, to go from uh, dehydrated onions to uh, fresh cut onions. They were using some but they didn't have a good supply so we thought we could get in and do that. Today the folks at Gills peel and cut more than 5,000 truckloads of onions a year at their state-of-the-art facility in Oxnard. Family owned and operated, Gills Onions is ensuring that business is around for future generations to enjoy as well by becoming an innovator of several environmental programs. Today the company has become a pioneer in energy efficiency, water conservation, packaging, recycling, waste prevention, and efficient land usage. Well, sustainability is, is part of our uh, company's mission or policy for uh, making sure that we're good stewards of the world and what we do. You know, we don't waste anything. We recycle as many products as we can through the facility uh, that we use. But being the nation's largest producer of fresh, whole, peeled, diced, and pureed onions and doing it all under one roof does have a slight downside. Something that brings a tear to your eye the moment you step in the building and encounter all of those onions. Now, I've seen people literally run out the door because they, they uh, can't take it. Almost, I had another facility before we moved here. He ran out, almost got ran over in the street. Tears and all, this is how many of us enjoy the last layer in the life of an onion at the dinner table. Believe it or not, the average American eats about 18 pounds of onions a year. And at Basil's by the Lake, located at the Radisson Hotel in Sacramento, the possibilities are endless for one of our favorite vegetables. From sauces to soups to marinades, Chef Scott LaCrosse has become a big fan of them over the years, and for good reason. 
onions are very large. Uh, they c uh, consist of about 60% of the menu has some kind of onion in it, either in the recipe or in its raw form or cooked form. Here, onions have become the flavor-based backbone of Scott's culinary repertoire. In most cases, they add just a little kick of flavor without a lot of fat. Depending on the variety, an onion can be sharp and spicy or mild and sweet. From the popular French onion soup, to Scott's signature dish, a skirt steak with caramelized onions and gorgonzola cheese, onions aren't an afterthought, they're a necessity. Well, we caramelize them up, uh, we put them into salsas, we roast them uh, for different dishes, uh, add them as flavoring to stocks, uh, seafood bases, uh, all sorts of different products. Well, uh, this is a popular dish for us. We top a lot of steaks with them, we caramelize them up. This would be the fried onion here. We're just gonna take a little seasoned flour mixture, toss them up in the seasoned flour, and then uh, get them coated really well. But with onions, the number one question of any chef is, how do you not shed a tear when working with them on a daily basis? Well, if you're wanting to try and not cry, I would work with them in more of their cold state, so uh, right out of the walk-ins and with a sharp utensil is the best way, so a nice good sharp knife if you're cutting them up. And here's one more tip for working with onions. You can always just carry around a box of Kleenex, like this fearless and teary-eyed reporter did. But as any onion aficionado will tell you, the tears are well worth it. For California Country, I'm Tracy Sellers.